Okay, I'm off on my Disney characters. Cora! <laughs> Okay. So they have a story, so everybody be really quiet. They're going to share a story with us. How much time do we have? Well, two hours. <laughs> as long as the story. <laughs> well, we have two stories, but we'll just go with one. Oh, you need yeah, we need this. You want to get the, we'll get the thing. It's kind of heavy. From Unless you just pull it out of the top. But. Oh. Here, Michaela, you come stand Sorry, by this. And JC, do you want to read this? JC no. is doing very well and is reading. Ooh, we want to hear. You read. I'll read this one. You read that one, okay? okay. And then you. Oh. Throw the ledger. You can read. Throw the flowers. Okay. 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 You come over here. You can read the book. Push up right or twice. Say tea, Cora. Okay. This. <laughs> is about this right here. Uh, Dr. Joel Poinsett, who was the first ambassador to Mexico, brought the bright red star-shaped flower to the United States. Hence, it was named as Poinsettia. It is also known as flame leaf or flower of the holy night. The legend related to this favorite Christmas flower is Mexican as well. However, there are two versions of the story. In one version, the two small children of the story are known as Maria and her little brother Pablo, while in another version, two cousins are mentioned by the names of Pepita and and Pedro. Whatever be the names, the story goes like this. There was once a brother and sister, Pera, who was very poor. They lived in a village and they had barely enough to eat two full meals a day as the Christmas time approached the festivities, parades, and parties in the village attracted the children and gaiety of the season in itself was quite charm charismatic. Moreover, a large major danger sense scene was being set up in the village church, and all the children were eager to go to baby Jesus and give him the best present, Mario and Popolo also wanted to give expensive presents to the holy child that he loved. While all children was excuse discussing what they think is best for the baby and children were discussing what they think is best for the baby and what they will buy as the gift for him. Mario and Pablo knew that they had no money to buy the presents and had nothing to, that they could give to the child. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Those are hard words. <laughs> Yet they could not let go of the temptation to see the baby just once and give something to him. On Christmas Eve, Maria and Pablo set out for church a little earlier than others to attend the service. Since they had nothing to give the child, they thought of plucking some weeds that was growing along the roadside to make a soft bed for baby Jesus and decorate his crib. While they were still decorating the crib of the baby, other children also arrived. Now the children can be very cruel when it comes to teasing and making fun of others. 
Mario and Pablo were almost in tears for shame and helplessness when a miracle occurred. Suddenly the weeds burst into bright red petals that looked like stars and were so beautiful that everyone was awed by their beauty. Everybody realized and said that a gift of love is dearer to Jesus than the most expensive presents that money could buy. Ever since then, poinsettia flowers have become favorites for Christmas decorations.